All right, we've got another series of technique analysis to, to look at. There's really nothing that I see uh, that is wrong about what you're doing. You are more than good on depth. Um, in fact, you, well, the, the later reps here seem to be uh, a bit more like exactly where you want to be. Uh, although there is just a little bit of inconsistency. Basically, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I think that that's a thing that's going to sort itself out in time. We do see you doing uh, on this last rep uh, what I would call a chest fall pattern. Um, now, it's it's very slight with you, but what you'll notice is that... Let me see if I can stop the video here in the bottom position. Pretty close. <coughs> Excuse me. So... What we'll, what we'll see as you come out of the hole, your knees are going to go back and your hips are going to go up out of sync with the bar. Okay, uh, So it's going to look like your back angle is going to increase. You're going to get less upright uh, here in this bottom position. So you could see it a little bit there. It's not very dramatic at all, um, but it is there. Now, I don't think you need to do anything uh, in order to address it at this point because it doesn't show up on all your lifts which means that you are practicing your lifts correctly also <coughs> the the program itself is designed to address the level of chest fall pattern that you're showing uh, in this video by itself so I don't think you need to change anything about how you're squatting in fact this looks great so let's go on and move on to the bench press. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm having a coughing fit here. I would say your arch is excellent. Uh, you're just going to want to be mindful about uh, keeping your hips down on the bench. I don't see anything right now that would indicate a red light lift, but you're very close. Um, close isn't a problem, but we all know that that can change at, at times. Um, I think something worth noting is kind of on your last rep here. Uh, when you get in these positions where it comes off your chest and it kind of dies around mid-range, um, what I want you to do right here is drift the bar back toward the rack a little bit. So I want you to start to let the bar drift back toward your face. And as you do that, flare your elbows just a bit. Okay, it's a subtle movement. Uh, but that'll help keep the bar moving uh, and moving up. And that's really the bar path that you want to take anyway. Uh, as you come off your chest, you want to get back over your shoulders, and then it kind of turns into a straight line uh, here around the mid-range once you have that elbow flare. Um, but again, what you've got here looks really good. Uh, that is not at all a major critique, uh, just something minor for you to think about. So... Let's watch these deadlifts. Looks like we're looking at pause deadlifts here. Uh, I really hope that's pause deadlifts and that's just not how you you know normally pull. Um, if we're assuming we're looking at pause deadlifts, again, I don't see anything that I would term as a technical error here. This looks quite proficient um, yeah I mean you're you're clearly working hard which is exactly what we want that's what we want to see um, because that's what you need to do to continue to improve but um, you're able to work hard and still maintain your positions which is ideal uh, so overall well done um, you don't get any any real complaints or, or marks against you from me couple things that will be useful to keep in mind, but uh, overall nothing major.